In this example, I have five different product types. The first product type is a letter-sized flyer. The second product type is a notepad. The third product type is a portrait-sized business card. The fourth product type is an invitation. And the fifth product type is a landscape business card. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one imposition template and then apply it to one workflow using the Fiery Impose Finish Size Trim Box feature. Using this feature will allow us to create one workflow for multiple product types to be laid out on the same sheet size. Let me show you how we do this. First, let's right click on the landscape business card and open it in Fiery Impose. After it is open in Fiery Impose, we're gonna come up and select Normal, Gang Up, and then Repeat. The third thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the paper size. So in this case, it's going to be 12 by 18. After we select that, we are going to select the finish size based on trim box option. As you can see, this will lay out the business card as best it can on that 12 by 18 sheet. After we do that, I'm gonna add a gutter of an eighth inch up and down. And then finally, I'm gonna add some trim marks so you can see that's all set up. So now we have our trim marks for that imposition template. So next, I'm going to save the imposition template and we will name that imposition template any size and document. We'll hit OK, and now we have that imposition template saved. The next step is to take our imposition template we just created and apply it to a workflow using Fiery Job Presets. So to do this, we're going to open up Device Center and Command Workstation, then select Job Presets underneath Workflows. From here, we'll add a new preset, and we'll name this any size document and we'll click on define and this will open up job properties and we can add the properties that we need so we will add a paper catalog entry of 12 by 18 from there we'll go to layout tab select impose and select the imposition template called any size document we just created and we'll hit OK OK again and as you can see, we now have a workflow available for us underneath job presets. Last thing we need to do is apply the workflows to the jobs that we looked at previously in this video. So to do that, we're going to select all the jobs in Command Workstation, right click on the jobs, select Apply Workflow, then select Any Size Document. Then we want to rip the jobs so we can look at them inside of Job Preview. Again, we'll right click on the jobs, select Process and Hold, and the Fiery will rip these jobs and this will allow us to look at them on the screen using the Fiery Preview mode. And here are the results inside of Fiery Preview. As you can see, we have the 8-Up Invitation. We have the portrait business cards laid out. Third file, we have the notepads laid out as a 2 over 2. The fourth file, we have the landscape business cards. And finally, the last file, we have the letter size flyers. All done with one workflow on a 12 by 18 sheet.